the soundscape reveals a lot to us and we think that there is no emotional component to these things and animals have no emotion and so on. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not so sure. Here's a perfect example of um, th th that I'd like to just play for you because it tells the whole story itself. Basically what happened was a year ago in the spring a colleague of mine in Minnesota was out recording at this famous lake that he's been recording at for many years and a couple of fish and wildlife guys came in and uh, with a couple of sticks of dynamite and, and dropped them down a beaver dam to blow the beaver dam up because that was their idea of resource management and they wiped out pretty much a family of uh, uh, female and all the babies that had just been born and the uh, male was um, not present there but, but was nearby and uh, got wounded and he recorded the male swimming around the pond that evening I'd never heard a I'd never heard a beaver like this before but just listen to the sound really crying out for us for help and uh, we've got to figure out a way to do that and certainly the soundscape is is giving us as much information as we can about that it's changing so rapidly um, for example in my library I have 4,000 hours of material collected from maybe 1500 sites around the world and in that uh, in the 40 years that I've been recording fully 50 percent of the sounds in my library are from now silent habitats 50 percent these are sounds you can't hear anymore, these are sounds your kids will never hear anymore um, and it's pretty devastating when you think about it.